Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of Sonic CD. We are in title Tempest, which is your tip typical underwater level. Only it's a only part of it is actually underwater, thankfully. Unlike Labyrinth Zone, where it's almost completely under. Now, unlike other Sonic games, when you run out of air, you don't get your you don't get the usual, you know, dun 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 dun. No. What you end up with is it makes like a sireny noise. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna find a spot to show you. We're gonna stand right here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, it's not even making that noise. There it is. Doop, doop, doop. Give me an air bubble. There we go. Yeah, so you got to be really careful in this because you, if you're not playing this on high volume, you need to listen for that siren. And yet every other Sonic game plays that dun-dun-dun-dun. And out we go. And here's the end. Next up, act two, naturally. With a wall that likes to push us. So we go downward. Now the water is a very nice green color um, in this one. But I'm 100% sure if we did the bad future, the water would be more of a pinkish or red, kind of like chemical plant. Give me an air bubble. Thank you. But yeah, funny, funny thing, um, I didn't know about this game, I did not know this game existed, uh, originally, like the first time I even knew this game was around was on the PC. Oh, it's supposed to go up here. Yeah, the PC. And I had to always change my Windows settings to be able to play it because it wouldn't work on my traditional Windows settings. And then uh, and then Sonic Gems Collection came out on the GameCube and that's where I got my second taste of this game. And then came XBLA. Wow, this water is right really low. All right, we go in here, we drop down, we collect the air bubble. Ooh, going up. Oh, son of a... There we go, that gets me on top. And up and out. And now, the boss.
Now, would I say Sonic CD is my favorite game in the Sonic series? No. My favorite game in the Sonic series is Sonic 3. It was actually that was actually the first Sonic game that I ever finished. Actually, Sonic 3 by itself was the first Sonic game that I ever fully completed. Oh, invincibility box. Get back here. All right, we go down. We go in here. And now we're underwater. Though this is a little interesting because what he's going to do is he's he's circling himself with air bubbles. So there's no chance of me drowning. Unfortunately, to be able to get to him, I have to suck up all those air bubbles. Okay, I, I just had to get to him. That was still a pain in the rear end. And that is Tidal Tempest. So we're going to move on. Got plenty of time. Quartz Quadrant. This is a crazy level, as you can plainly see. It's very hidden palacy. And a shield. Whoop, down we go. Ow. That thing exploded on my head. That was very rude. Watch out for these spikes. I am doing amazing at this game. Nobody can Sonic better than me. <laughs> he sarcastically says. Now, a move that I haven't shown you that Sonic can do, and I feel bad for, do for not doing this, is called the Super Peel Out. What he does is... He revs up his feet like that, and he, boom, runs off in a blaze of glory. But we're at the end, so. So now we move on to Quartz Quadrant Act 2. I'm going to be completely honest, I forgot how dang short this game was. Because I've now only been playing for 20 minutes, and I'm already done four acts. And I think the game's only got like six or seven. But once we get to Stardust Speedway, that's when things are going to slow down. Because Stardust Speedway is a wacky one. Not to be confused with the fact that I just did a stage called Wacky Workbench. Down we go. And up. And a shield. There. And the goal.
So now we just have the boss. Now this is kind of pretty too, because it's all nice and like greenish yellow. And this is supposed to be the bad future. And I'm never going to argue with a free man. So we run across this, we go up. Oh, this one. What's going to happen here is he's going to activate this conveyor belt. And I have to run while simultaneously avoiding that spiked ball and that spiked wall. A good rule of thumb is to move slowly at first, get the ball to come all the way over here, and then just book it. I don't have to hit Eggman, but if you'll but if you'll notice, his platform is starting to go down. That's all you got to do is just get that to brush up against the conveyor belt. Try not to, you know, ow. See now he's doing a dance. And that's it. That's Quartz Quadrant. So we will see you in the net. We will see you next time for probably the rest of the game. Take care. Peace.